Hello everyone and welcome to part 3 installation and upgrade options for the VRA ServiceNow ITSM 8.2 plugin. Starting with the install, the ServiceNow administrator can install the ITSM 8.2 application directly from the ServiceNow store at the following URL https store.servicenow.com. During that, you have to be the system administrator in ServiceNow. You also must have access to the ServiceNow store via the high credentials. Usually the high credentials are provided by the ServiceNow when uh, customers subscribe to production ServiceNow instances. The ServiceNow instance must be customer owned, so you cannot use uh, this methodology in deploying the application if you have or you're working with a ServiceNow developer instance. In terms of the upgrade, if you previously downloaded the Virilize Automation ITSM 8.x from the ServiceNow store, what you can do is uh, you can update it to version 8.2 in your instance the same way you deployed it. You also cannot upgrade uh, 7.6.x and earlier versions of ITSM application to ITSM 8.x. Uh, these are simply was for the VRA 7 platform. So there are two separate applications. You also want to check the upgrade prerequisite in page 7 of the ITSM 8.2 plugin installation guide. I will post a link to the installation guide in the description below. Now, in terms of the procedures, we have two procedures to install uh, the application. We have, of course, the supported way of uh, installing the uh, ITSM 8.2 which unfortunately I will not be able to demo uh, in this video uh, uh, since I don't really own any production instances. Uh, but the procedure is pretty straightforward. What you need to do first, you need to add the ITSM application to your ServiceNow instance. You log in into the ServiceNow as the system administrator at store.servicenow.com. You search for the VMware vRealize automation ITSM application 8.2. Uh, once uh, you've found the application, uh, click on the application to view the details and on the top right corner you should see the Manage Entitlements. Select, uh, when you click on the Manage Entitlements, you can select the ServiceNow instance uh, that you want to install or add the application to. Once you click OK, the application now is ready for installation. What we simply did here, we simply added it to your ServiceNow instance. On the installation of the application uh, and uh, as a system administrator, now you can go to system applications, all available applications, and then all. Search again for the VMware Virilize Automation ITSM application and simply click install. Now, in terms of what we're doing here in this uh, multi-part video blog series is we're using the XML methodology. And the, uh, uh, the XML methodology or procedure, you need first, of course, to have the ITSM 8.2 XML file. Uh, I'm not at a liberty of providing that XML file, so you will need to work with your VMware account team to uh, have access to that XML file if you're planning to install the plugin on a developer instance, for example. What you need to do is you log in into your ServiceNow portal, again, as the system administrator, and simply type system update set in the uh, search field. And then uh, from the menu at the bottom, you select the retrieved update set from the menu and you click on the import update set from XML. Here you will click choose file uh, on the dialog here to choose the file to upload, of course, and then you, you would select the Virilize Automation XML file and simply click upload. Once you click Upload, uh, the uh, uh, application will be available in the Retrieved Update Set. And uh, what you want to do is you basically click on the VMware Virilize Automation ITSM application in the Name column. And uh, at the bottom of that page, you would select Preview Update Set so you can validate the update set before we commit it. Uh, a dialog box here will, will uh, confirm the update set validation. Once you click on the preview update set, you will see nine errors. Again, this is because not the standard way of deploying this, so these nine errors are expected. Uh, click close 
and what you want to do is you want to review all the nine errors and simply click accept remote update on each of the errors that is presented to you at the bottom of the page once all the problems have been addressed uh, click commit update set at the bottom and then click close once once the commit which usually takes about two minutes is uh, uh, completed at the end of this in the retrieved update set menu list you want to confirm that the v vmware vrealized automation itsm application 8.2 state is now set as committed now let's go and actually do that in in in, in our lab so here I'm accessing the store.servicenow.com page, uh, and I've already searched for VMware Vrealize Automation ITSM application. And then I got two results here. Uh, got the 8.2 version for the 8.2 VRA and 8.1, and we got the uh, 7.6 version for the VRA 7 platform. Uh, if you click on the application, uh, this is where you can look at some of the the product details and summary features, key features, uh, requirements. Also, uh, you can uh, uh, see the version uh, of the of the application that you're trying to add, as well the compatibility in terms of what ServiceNow instances uh, uh, this application is supported on. The installation guide is listed under the supporting links and docs. Uh, again, I will post a link in the description below. Uh, but I just wanted to show you how uh, and what this looks like in the ServiceNow store. Now, I do have a developer instance here that I spun up from developer.servicenow.com. And uh, what we're going to do here, we're going to follow the same steps that we've uh, just uh, uh, touched on uh, to actually install uh, the application. So the first thing I'm going to do here is look for system update uh, sets. That's going to get us the menu. I'm going to go to the retrieved update sets in the menu here. And uh, I'm simply going to click on import update set from the XML. I'm going to click on choose file options and select my XML file. Once the XML file is selected, I'm going to hit upload. And once it's uploaded, we will be clicking on the application itself. Uh, once it's listed and then click on the preview update set option once the page is loaded. The uh, update set uh, preview will take a couple of minutes. Once the update set preview is completed, you're going to see that I have nine errors here. And uh, to what we're going to do, we're going to hit close and we're going to scroll down at the bottom to review all the nine errors. These errors are, like I mentioned, are expected since we're not doing this via the ServiceNow store and we're doing it manually. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to accept remote update on each of those uh, errors that you see listed here until they all disappear. So we got seven, remaining six, except and the last one right here. Once uh, all problems have, have been addressed, like we mentioned, we're going to go ahead and click on the commit update set option. Uh, and this, like I mentioned, is going to take uh, two about two minutes and uh, we'll pause the video right here until it's uh, completed. As you can see, the update set commit is completed. It took about two minutes uh, like we expected uh, and uh, we have uh, uh, 100 percent. So we'll hit we'll hit close. And if we go back uh, to the uh, retrieve update set, we will see that the state is committed as you can see here. Uh, and if we click on the update set in the menu, you can see also the state it's committed, which what you what you're looking for. That takes us to the end of this video. Uh, thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next one.